Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to another episode of The Cider Drinker. Now, first of all, a very happy new year to you guys. Hope you've had a really good start to 2016, and as you can see, I am back with my cider reviews uh, for the new year. And it also so happens to be my 250th cider review today. I was hoping to um, get this one out before the new year um, to, to uh, round off 2015, but unfortunately I didn't have the time. So uh, we are actually starting off the new year with, well, another milestone um, cider review. So, you know, 250 reviews, that's... You know, quite a lot. So what have I got planned for you today? Well, um, it's going to be my last cider, or cidre should I say, that I bought back from Barcelona. And it happens to be this bad boy here. Now, uh, you're going to have to uh, excuse me, because obviously I don't speak much Spanish. But um, I believe you pronounce this as Bereziatua. Bereziatua? Something like that. Um, if there are any Spanish viewers on the channel, then please um, correct me if I have mispronounced that. I'm sure I have, and I do apologise. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's Bereziatua Sidra Natural, as you can see there, Sidra Natural, and comes in a 750ml glass bottle, as you can see. Don't know if it um, comes in any other sorts, because this was actually really hard to find. Um, it was a funny story. I actually was just, we just wandering around the streets with my girlfriend, and we came across this little, almost looked like a corner shop that you find uh, here in the UK. And I happened to see this um, Sidra just um, sitting right on the front window, and I thought, I really must go back and get that, because I had no uh, money on me at the time. And uh, the last day, we actually were searching and searching and searching, and uh, we finally managed to track it down, and there was only one bottle left, and I thought, I I've got to get this and try it out. Um, so, there we go, Bereziatua Sidra Natural. I am hoping this is going to be um, a lot more of a traditional Sidra than the other two that I tried, because uh, they seem to be more, um, you know, more mainstream and, you know, not real. Um, but... Uh, what else can I say about it? It's 6% ABV, so that's um, a good sign. And also, I don't know if you can see on the bottom of the bottle there, probably not. Uh, the light's pretty bad. But uh, rest assured, there is sediment on the bottle as well. And also, it's my first cork... well, first corked cider like this anyway. I actually um, was glad that uh, the Orchard Box bottle opener that I got recently actually comes with a corkscrew, because I don't actually have one. I've never used a corkscrew before in my life, so... Uh, well, I'm hoping that this is going to be uh, a really, really good Sidra. Apparently, they were established in 1870. I believe that's um, what that means. But it just looks the part, doesn't it? It looks like a traditional Sidra. So I'm really hoping that this is going to be the case. Um, I might have to cut this from um, getting the cork out. In fact, I'm, I probably will, because I'm going to be ages getting this cork off. So uh, back in a minute. Whew, blimey, that was an effort. That cork didn't want to come out. But that's probably a good sign anyway, but uh, as you can see, the cork is now off, and um, the smells that came out when I opened, um, opened up this bottle was amazing. There was a slight bit of carbonation as well, I wasn't actually expecting that, um, but let's just see what it smells like in the bowl. <sighs> really dry. Very, very rustic smelling. Mmm. Uh, got a lot of tannins on the nose can smell them. Oh, this smells really, really good. Um, I think traditional Sidras tend to be a lot more sour tasting than, um, like, normal, like, UK-based ciders, so what I'll probably say is this won't be for everybody, but we'll see, uh, well, we'll see what it tastes like. I'm gonna try and drink it as though it was a traditional Sidra, but I'm no good at throwing. I am not a professional at, uh, throwing Sidra. If you don't know what throwing is, I will be doing um, a video on that a little bit later on in the future. But for now, I'm going to try my best to, uh, you know, replicate how they do it in this, um, in my little Bemble with Care small glass that I've got here. So uh, bear with me. This is going to be really, really bad. Right, getting for the smell and the taste. Cheers. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that is definitely a traditional Sidra. Mmm. Very sour and tart tastes initially. 
Oh, the smells were lovely. Really nice, dry, robust. Um, same as on the um, same as on the bottle. My mouth um, is feeling really. I don't know. It, it just feels refreshed and um, a nice, really lovely, dry, oaky aftertaste all throughout as well. Um, as I said, the, re the reason that I only took a small swig like that is because that's kind of how you're supposed to enjoy it. I mean. The, the, the professionals, they would they would tip the glass at a 45 degree angle and they would aim the cider right on the very tip of uh, the glass. So it, um, I don't know, it kind of like churns it up and releases the flavours. You're not supposed to just pour it all out and drink it naturally. So this is why you do it in small increments because you're supposed to like drink it within like 30 seconds of pouring it as well. So I'm going to go in for another one. So uh, cheers. Mm. It's got a very chewy um, texture behind it as well. You can feel that it's got like all the little um, bits of apple in amongst it as well, which just adds to the to the, the loveliness of it. It's just it's really nice. Um, if this is more of the one of the more mainstream um, traditional citrus, then it's a very very good example of how it is done right. Um, I'd imagine if it is served to you properly as well, it would taste even better. Um, but the way that I'm serving it, and the way that I'm tasting it, it's tasting pretty damn good. Let's get in a, a final pour before the final verdict. I never thought I'd say that. Oh God, go a little lower. Oh God, this is gonna be bad. Oh, that wasn't bad, cheers. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, but bit got caught in my throat there. Um, lovely, really, really lovely Sidra. Um, it's it's just a really good example of um, a real traditional Sidra. You've got lovely tanginess behind it all uh, because of the sourness and the tartness in the initial taste. But it's no, nothing is too overpowering. It's not um, like lemon levels of sourness. It's just a really lovely, enjoyable. Um, Sidra and it it goes down so well. Um, it, it's just it's really it's lovely. I can't, I can't really say much else about it, but uh, this is this just it's great. It's a lovely little traditional Sidra, and I'm so glad that I actually found it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry about that. Um, so for a final verdict, Boreziatois Sidra Natural is going to get a nine out of ten. <laughs> what a way! to end um, on my 250th cider review. I was hoping I was gonna do a good one and this really hasn't uh, disappointed at all. So if you ever do go to any parts of um, Spain, uh, especially Asturias is like the main Sidra capital of uh, Spain, then uh, check, try and find out this, try and find this bottle of um, Sidra Natural because it is lovely, really, really good. And as I said, I'm so glad I managed to find it. So there we go, that was my 250th Sidra review. Hope you guys liked it and I will be back with something a little bit different next time because the next, well, my next uh, cider period is over. So it's time for another session of top 10 favourite and least favourite ciders in this period. Because I like to do things a little bit differently rather than just going um, top 10 favourite ciders overall. I'm going to do it between reviews 151 and 250. So it would be my top 10 favourite and top 10 least favourite ciders in that period. And then you can choose, well, you can look back on my other one if you want and see uh, my favourites from there. But until then, I will be back with, well, the top 10 cider reviews. But uh, until then, I'm going to definitely finish off this bottle of uh, Sidra Natural off tonight. I might have to save a little bit for my girlfriend though, because, uh, well, she does like to sample ciders too. So, uh, take care guys, until next time.